Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain what coherent light is. Now, one of the things that we know is that light is a wave motion. So if we represent a wave in this way, and if I put, if that's wave one, and I put wave two here, and I put the two waves like this, then we can see that the two waves, notice they're the same size, and peak is on peak, so wave three, if I add the two waves together, I'm going to get a very big wave, like this. This is called interference. Now, to get interference, therefore, I have to have two waves. And one of the problems is that the waves come from individual atoms producing an effect, uh, and each atom in each source, if we've got two sources, is going to be different. And therefore, to get two actually like this is almost impossible. Or at least it's not impossible, but we'll get lots of pairs. As many would produce waves like this, which, as you can see, where the peak and the trough are together, and in fact where you get nothing. So we will end up with a series of waves which are either reinforcing or cancelling each other out, but every wave will behave differently. And so, therefore, on average, it will look just an even colour. So if I did this experiment, here's my light source, I've got two sources here, I would expect to see, if this was yellow, I'd expect to see a yellow screen. I would not expect to see what I actually see, which is a series of stripes on here, caused by interference. And the reason is that we are creating here coherent light, coherent sources. The conditions, first of all, monochromatic, one coloured, one wavelength. So if it's yellow, it is exactly the same yellow. It's not just yellow, it's the same yellow. One wavelength. They are in phase. They start together at the same point. So from this source and from this source, I've got to have them starting exactly the same. And they've got to be the same in size. And the fact is, the only way we can do this is produce them from one source. And that is what we do here. You have to remember that this we're not talking about large distances here. If I were doing this, these fringes here, this distance here, would be maybe a millimetre to one centimetre. So this is a very small scale. But we can do this if we use a laser, for example. We can do this very easily with a laser here and two slits here. And we can see this very big because these stripes get wider and wider the further away we get, so if we can make them 30 metres away, we can see them a foot apart. So what we have are two identical sources in size, that's amplitude, in phase, they start with the same part of the wave together, and they're the same colour. That is what we mean by coherent. From the same source or similar sources is the only way we can do this. This, for example, could be a sodium light. Sodium yellow is a single colour of sodium, well, too close, but very, very, very monochromatic. Two little uh, slits, these may be a millimetre apart, and we'll, we, we will see this through a microscope, we will see these fringes. So, that is what we mean by coherent light. Monochromatic, in phase, Identical in amplitude.